Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. I don't really do a lot of videos about the movie news because they change so quickly. I remember one time I talked about, oh, Jackie Chan and Sylvester Stallone are going to be in this new movie called x Bag Dad. All right. Then soon after, Stallone left for some dumb reason. What, to do Bat Trace? Backwash, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And the Steve Plan 2. So don't do a film with Jackie Chan, but do Bat Trace with Matthew Modine. And then uh, apparently John Cena is going to do that film with Jackie Chan now. It just... That's the thing, the movie news changes so fucking frequently. Then it's like, what's the point? But I know <laughs> my friend Mike OCP, just he was ranting about this on Facebook. I'm waiting for him to make a video on this. Maybe by the time this upload, he does. I do for Mike OCP Communications. Apparently, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, is doing a bunch of commercials. And Robocop is the star of these commercials. And Peter Weller is voicing Robocop for these commercials. Which I find very ironic. That very fucking weird. Very confusing. That he won't even think of being Robocop in the new Robocop film that the director of District 9 and Elysium is doing. Because he wanted Peter Weller to come back, but Peter Weller said no, flat out. So he won't do that. No, you just do a voice. Nope, he won't even do the voice for that. He won't be interviewed for that new Robocop documentary, which has Kurtwood Smith, Paul Verhoeven, it's called RoboDoc. All these other people are involved, but not. But Peter Weller said no. So you say no to that. You can sit your ass down and talk for, I don't know, 30 minutes. That's all you have to do is sit down and talk. You could not do an interview for Streamers, which came out on Blu-ray. Or Of Unknown Origin, when that Blu-ray came out. Or Leviathan, when that Blu-ray came out. All you'll do for Buckaroo Banzai. But not Leviathan or Streamers of Unknown Origin. Three good movies. And I know he's a fan of, a, of Unknown Origin. Because when the DVD first came out, he did a DVD commentary. That's when George P. Cosmos was with us, with us. But he could do a new interview. Talk about you know the past in George P. Cosmos. And hey, this guy can't speak anymore for his work. So maybe Pete Willard could do it since you worked with him twice. Of an unordinary Levite. Ten minutes, seriously? At least like ten minutes, just talking about getting the job, working with the director, the release of the film. Ten, fifteen minutes. But he won't do those. He won't do the Robo documentary, Robocop documentary. He won't do, but he'll do a voice for a Robocop and fucking KFC commercials. Must have been a big fucking paycheck. <laughs> so, that'd be like Sylvester Stallone reprising Rambo for McDonald's commercials. Well, I'm not out hunting. I'm hunting for the Big Mac. I'll give you fries you won't believe. I did, I, sadly, in this day and age, I did see that happening. I did, they give you french fries you wouldn't believe. But it is over! Nothing! You don't just turn the fryer off! They give you a big mat with cheese! They give you french fries and shapes! You need a cold bottle with cheese. You need a crispy chicken sandwich. You need freaking french fries. You need a lunch treat for just a dollar. Huh? God, I can see that shit. It's like Arnold doing the Terminator, right? To sell... Sell Subway. You will be terminated unless you get the subway sandwich. It just sell out bullshit, man. Like 
like the character Robocop, has he hasn't he been through enough? He had a horrible remake where he had a montage that had yodeling music during the middle of this mon training montage. Fucking yodeling. Because it's part of this, I forget the name of the song, but. You have a shitty actor like Joel Kid I get a What What Kinnaman being the star of it. That hasn't been a good thing Robocop wise since Robocop 2 in my opinion since 1990 and you have to bury him upon burying him he's already buried you have to literally put gasoline and light the dead body on fire with KFC commercials fucking ridiculous fucking ridiculous so hey I'm sure Mike somewhere is fucking screaming his head off until it pops out like a top. Meanwhile, Ninja Turtles, one spark of interest. There was a picture, and apparently there's going to be an animated film with Batman and the Ninja Turtles in it, which is interesting. And the turtles actually look like the turtles. Holy shit. So fucking weird, huh? Don't have them be flash animated $2 whores like that new Nickelodeon cartoon. They might as well be $2 whores. Do they get fucked easily? Or a Mongoloid looked in steroid abuse and fuck faces like the Michael Bay movies. Wow, if you actually had the turtles look like the Ninja Turtles, you actually piqued my interest. For some reason, it's that fucking hard for a lot of people. But I did credit at least the one picture this is like the turtles, Batman, Robin, and Cat and uh, Batgirl all in the same frame. Okay. Curious. Who knows, maybe the final product could be good, could be bad, but at least that's something I look forward to more than anything Nickel and Diamond is doing with their shitty cartoon. Everyone got these stupid fucking painted, you know, titty tattoo. What the fuck they are? Lines. Rather be doing fucking lines here like this. Do lines here in the veins than watch that bullshit cartoon. Jeez, Raph looking like a snaggle toothed pussy. And taking steroids in that cartoon, too. He's about as big as a fucking idiot. <coughs> so, but, okay. The animated film, curious about. Give it a look whenever it comes out. Supposedly, supposedly this year. What else is in the news? I don't even know. This is sort of a spur of the moment type thing. Uh, someone sent me a piece of news that Stallone is doing. He wants to do some kind of superhero movie, like a dark superhero movie. I, I don't know much about it. I'll believe anything when a trailer comes out, and I'll view the trailer and make my opinion then. But Stallone... I am a fan of Stallone. Fucking wear a Rambo hat every fucking video. Part of my username, Rambo. But to me, the guy hasn't done anything decent since the first Expendables in 2010. To me, he's done nine years worth of shit. So I'm going to screen rant and just whatever pops up I'll mention. Netflix lands the rights to the comic book movie The Old Guard starring Charlize Theron as an immortal soldier. Never read the comic. I like Charlize Theron, but you know, I don't have Netflix, so it doesn't matter. Let's see. Netflix cancels the Punisher. 
I didn't watch The Punisher because again I don't have Netflix. But if you're fans of The Punisher, there will not be a season three. Uh, well, that's because thank Disney for that because Disney pretty much forcing Netflix to cancel all the shows because Disney wants everything. Disney wants to own the fucking world. So fuck Mickey Mouse. Or, you know, maybe someone should make a movie where Mickey Mouse goes in and fucking punishes everyone at Disney. I'll watch that fucking movie. Some rumor that Chris Hemsworth is going to be Hulk Hogan in a Hulk Hogan biopic. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy that when I see a trailer. Neil Blancom had planned on using practical effects for his Alien film. His project was canceled in favor of Ridley Scott's Alien prequels. Of course it was. Because it was a halfway decent idea finally, so they said cancel the shit. Because it's fucking Hollywood. Anything Jason Reitman says about that new Ghostbusters film is just twisted around by SJW pieces of bitches. I'll call them bitches. Bitches are bitches. You cannot say anything bad about the 2016 movie. It's a piece of shit. It was a B for B remake. It wasn't funny. Sorry, I don't find pussy fart jokes funny. I don't find oh I, I don't have enough wontons funny. Whether it's men or women or both or neither or everything. I don't care if it was a chick with a dick. Or a dick with a chick. It still wouldn't be funny. Cause it wasn't funny. Why is that a hard thing to understand? Your comedy wasn't funny. It would be shitty for an SNL skit, let alone a full feature fucking film. Oh, not enough wontons. This is a black thing or a woman thing? No, it's you being a bitch thing. You being a shitty thing. <clears throat> Fantastic Four director was the race of 2015 movie. From existence. It's not a great movie, but I've seen many movies ten times worse. I really have. I rather watch Fantastic Four than Black Panther. I rather watch the Avengers Infinity War. I don't give a fuck. At least it was trying to do something different. I appreciate that. It didn't fully succeed, but it it tried more than the fucking Infinity War. I don't give a fuck. No one wants to say it, I'll say it. Fucking new Star Wars gives a shit about Star Wars nowadays. Oh, Aladdin with the Blue Man Group, Will Smith. That's why that film you could never make it live action because I don't give a fuck who you got for that role. I don't care if Robin Williams was still alive and you had him in that role. It would still look goofy as shit because it's someone in total blue. It's not going to fucking work when someone's in total fucking blue. It's just not going to work. Sorry, it's not going to work. It's going to look goofy, it's going to look silly, it's going to look stupid, and it did. And it's CGI glory. The Aladdin teaser with Will Smith. It doesn't matter that it's Will Smith. It looks goofy as shit. That's why there's no point in doing a live action version of Aladdin. Or if you had to do the genie, don't make him a different color. 
Make him, he comes out, and it's like fucking Kazam. I hate to say it, but when Kazam Genie looks better than your fucking Genie and your over $100 million foot, there's a fucking problem. Fucking ridiculous. But these people think you're fucking idiots. They think you're fucking retards. I don't want to say that word because that's what they think of you. That's what they say behind your back instead of to your face. They think they're PC pontificated pricks on some holier than thou fucking altitude looking down at you trying to wipe their feet on your face when they're the ones saying the dirty shit behind your back. That's what Hollywood is. So yes, I'm going to say, they think you're fucking retards. They think you're idiots. You're morons, you putzes. That's what Hollywood does. And that's how they truly say their words. They just don't want to say it because they think they're going to get in trouble and the PC police is going to arrest them. Because at the end of the day, they're just words. So chill out. That's the thing about the country. No, you, people wonder why people get so violent because it's so fucking tightly put together that when you get something so tightly, what happens? Things snap. Things fucking snap. That's why everyone needs to fucking loosen up. Let the air out. Let the fart out of your ass. Believe me, you'll feel a lot better. That's what this country needs. It's a buildup of gas. It needs to let out a giant fucking fart. Says we're supposed to love that with Ghostbusters 2016, which is a lot of fucking those type of jokes. <clears throat> Something called the Banana Splits. I don't know what the hell that is. Some 1960s kids show. Cast of animal characters who played in the band together. Ran for two seasons. And for some reason, it's a horror movie now. Okay. Never didn't know anything about the show, so Star Wars Nine trailer, fuck Star Wars Nine. Could go fuck itself nine times in a row. For all I give shit. Men and Black International looks like crap. New Men and Black. Looks like the fucking old films. Many times when they go international, it doesn't really work out. Even fucking Rush Hour, when they went to fucking London or wherever, it didn't... France, I should say France, Eiffel Tower, it didn't fucking work out. Trolls are already review bombing Captain Marvel Ron Tomatoes. Well, how do you know that? Blumhouse Blumhouse Productions are wanting to make new Hellraiser and Scream movies. Don't we have enough fucking Hellraiser movies? Don't we have enough fucking Scream movies? What more can you do with Hellraiser? They have like 10 fucking direct to video movies. What more can you do with Stream? They're losing fucking ideas for Stream 4. Which I fucking hate it. Stream 4 was a piece of shit. Sylvester Stallone reveals deleted scene of Rocky vs. Drago. So there's a Rocky vs. Drago fight, and they fucking deleted it. When well, I saved the film, but... Ben Affleck officially has left as Batman. Well, about fucking time. 
Back to as was on and that Batman movie should have been made fucking years ago. If DC wasn't fucking around with Ben Affleck. I just let Ben Affleck do the fucking movie he wanted. But he just kept pissing around and pissing around and pissing around to the point of course he said, Fuck it, I'm gone. Because you were going to have him direct and write it, and then you fucking with him, and then Chris Evans and Channing Tatum came close to being cast as the lead in Avatar, but Sam Worthington beat them in the last round. Chris Evans, I could see. You know, Chris Evans may may have made that movie better. Because I don't really give much a shit about Sam Worthington. But I like Chris Evans. He he would have been better than Sam Worthington. Tom Haynes is playing Mr. Rogers in a movie. Okay. Black Panther nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's such a Best Picture type of movie. With some of the worst fucking CGI in a superhero film. With, of that budget. And plot elements ripped off from The Lion King and fucking Coming to America. <laughs> Coming to America is more of a Best Picture Oscar winner than Black Panther. Predator 2 is more of a Best Picture winner than Black Panther. Kevin Smith is doing Jane Silent Bob reboot. It has the terrorists coming back to stop a movie that's rebooting one of their old movies. I mean, if this was Kevin Smith 10 years ago, I'd be interested in, but this is the Kevin Smith that did Tusk and Yoga Hosers and that piece of shit horror film. I don't remember. I don't trust Kevin Smith. I don't. I really don't. Bumblebee never gave a fuck to see. I really don't. It looked like the same film as the first film, only with less fart jokes and Dodds fucking, which would be a step up. But I just don't care about seeing. Instead of a boy and his robot, it's a girl and his robot. Let's just have the robot be a story about the robot by him fucked himself. How about that? How about Bumblebee not have anybody? How about have no humans? How about Bumblebee, if he needs a talk, he's trying to contact his home. How about you actually give Bumblebee a fucking voice? Bumblebee Tuna. You know, just saying. More Black Panther talk. All this fuck. That's that's why I keep harping on it because they keep fucking bringing it up. And Black Panther fucking sucked. I don't get what was so good about that fucking movie. Can someone name me one memorable action sequence in Black Panther? I can name you several in Blade and Blade Two. I can't name you a single fucking one in Black Panther. I can name you the action scene at the beginning that's so fucking dark you can't see shit. The car chase that you saw every fucking bit of it in the trailer. He just gets on top and tries to rip through the fucking rooftop. And then wannabe dino riders where they're riding fucking CG rhinos through a fucking battlefield. And then a piece of shit CGI fight. Horrific CGI. Look like a fucking cartoon. I don't get it. Don't fucking get it. Yeah, well, if someone the fucking tell me what's so great about Black Panther compared to. You know, I'm looking at Jacob's Ladder. I'm looking at the post of Jacob's Ladder. That film has more emotion, more story, uh, better acting. 
you know, but Jacob's ladder got nothing. Fucking. I've been doing Eddie Murphy marathon for fun. Barry Hills Cobb won. Dude, there's more of a best picture Oscar than fucking Black Panther. I bet if I fucking took a hundred people and I said, which is a better movie, Barry Hills Cobb or Black Panther? They go, Barry Hills Cobb, 99 out of 100. But that didn't get fucking nominated for Oscars for best picture. But the Oscars have always been full of shit, so I don't know why I'm getting worked out. Have the Oscars ever been not worth a shit? Oh yeah, they have. Every single fucking day. So my real question should be, have they ever been worth a shit? No, never. Oh yeah. When John Carver's The Theme wasn't even nominated for effects. Even though they're, they're considered some of the best effects of all time. But it wasn't even nominated. John Carver's The Thing. Is Steve Plan 2 star Sylvester Stallone reveals he thinks Steve Plan 2 was beyond awful? Then why'd you do the movie? And why are you doing a third film? Why the fuck would anyone see a Steve Plan 3? For fuck's sake, man. Puh. But I don't know how long I'll go about with this. I haven't really taught much of anything. Just the movie news hasn't offered me much of anything. Like, I haven't reviewed really any movies in 2019. Just what the fuck am I going to review? I'm going to review Glass, which I, if I saw, I would call it Shatter. Just like Shatter the fucking film. With an ending. In fact, I'll give it away. How about this? I'll hold this up. And when I take it down, that means there's no more spoilers. For Glass, this is the ending. Again, when I take it down, you can flip through the video. James McAdamian knows James McAvoy kills Sam Jackson because Sam Jackson put James McAvoy's father on that train that murdered everyone in Unbreakable. And James McAdamian nuts. Fucking finds out and kills Sam Jackson. James back to Damien Nuts gets fucking one of his personalities, the nice one. Someone has that out in the open for a second, they shoot the guy. And Bruce Willis' character gets killed by these fucking no name losers by drowning in a fucking bottle. And then the big message is well, Sam Jackson had a plan and released all the info of these. Uh, assholes in the insane asylum, which is a government organization to not have the existence of mutants known, or mutants, superheroes known, but Sam Jackson has the info out, so now everyone knows they're superheroes. Oh, thank God we killed Bruce Wells' character for that. Thank God we got the sequel to Unbreakable with that piece of shit ending. Oh, what happened to uh, Bruce Wells' character? Well, they're in a fucking insane asylum for like. 90 minutes to a, of a goddamn movie, and then he dies from a shitty fucking puddle from these no-name motherfuckers. Yeah, great job, M. Night Shyamalan. You fucking hack. You piece of shit. You haven't done a decent fucking thing since Signs. You haven't done a good thing since the first Unbreakable, and then you fucked that movie over. Fuck you, M. Night. No wonder it made money, because anytime you shit over old stuff, it makes fucking money! I'm tired of that bullshit! See that I'm the only one that sees through this fucking bubble of bullshit. God damn man. Horseshit. There's a Pirates of the Caribbean reboot in plans. Like we need a reboot of that fucking film. Jesus Christ! Jason Blum of Blumhouse wants to make ten more Halloween movies. Oh yeah, so we get ten more of the same goddamn film that we've been seeing for decades. 
the last Halloween film. It was just the same goddamn thing. Halloween's greatest hits. Here's the annoying cops there for comedy. Saw that in Halloween 5. Here's Jamie Lee Curtis coming back decades later to fight Michael. Saw that in Halloween H2O. Oh, there's Michael Myers burning in a fire. Oh, like Halloween 2. Oh, Michael Myers is steeping from a vehicle instead of an ambulance is a bus. Like Halloween 4, he steeped from a ambulance. Halloween this, from the fucking bus. How many fucking times do they have to do the same goddamn thing? Michael Myers is hunting a child of Laurie Strode. Technically, Halloween 4 is Laurie. Jamie Lloyd, that character was the Dark Lord Strode. And then Halloween H2O, oh, Josh Hartnett. I did how many fucking times? <laughs> they did the same fucking thing. The people, a lot of people bought into it. Good on you for buying into it, I didn't. I'm not. I knew it was going to be the same shit same day, and it was. And they made a shitload of money, which is why they want to make ten more sequels. Yeah, we need ten more goddamn movies of this. I said it before, I said it again. So, 99% of these franchises should fucking die. I say 99 because there's a 1% chance that you get a gym, you get a jewel of the Nile, you get a diamond in the rough, so that's what I said. 99% of these franchises just fucking die and stay dead. Halloween included. Steve Plan 3 is titled The Extractors. Yeah. Strat the dick out of your mouth. Alita Battle Angel projected the bomb at the box office during his opening weekend with a haul of only $23 million. Good. Movie didn't look like shit to me with the bug eyes and I know it's like the anime but I don't give a fuck about the anime so I don't give a fuck about Robert Rodriguez, Robbie Rod, I don't give a fuck about Jimmy Tammy hey Jimmy Tammy how about you just give us blu rays to the abyss and true lies how about you do that instead of trying to pimp out your 15 fucking avatar movies and then you delayed this film fucking 10 times yeah, you delay it ten times so we can bomb. Good job, Jimmy Tammy. Good job. Bra fucking O. Oh, great. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle sequel begins production. Just that's another fucking film we need. Because it was a big hit, so of course, why wouldn't they make it? Why that was a big hit? I have no fucking clue. I still ask people what was good about that movie. They're like, and then they just ask, what's so bad about that movie? Oh, I don't know. How about a character fucking dying from, what the fuck was it again? Like a donut or he, he ate fucking something. What the hell was it? it wasn't a donut. He, he fucking ate something. God damn it. Like, Kevin Hart ate something and he fucking died from it. I already forgot what it was. It wasn't a fucking donut. I don't know why I thought... Of, well, I just got donuts, so that's why I'm thinking of donuts. I don't know. I forget what the fuck it was. One woman is fucking dance fighting. A finale where they're avoiding these horribly CGI... Horribly done CGI animals... Oh, and Jack Black wondering how to piss. But he sees a girl in Jack Black's body. So, like, how do I piss? How do I pee? Yeah, because Jack Black not knowing how to pee is funny in today's age. It's funny. It's hilarious. <sighs> the upcoming J Speed of Jacob's Ladder. Fucking getting a remake. Streamer Jeff Bueller. Remake's coming out sometime this year. And it will feature a completely new twist. 
Well, of course, because if people know that movie, they know the twist. So I get why they're doing that. I just don't get why you're making one in the first place. I just re-released Jacob's Ladder. It holds up. Re-released that in theaters. I would pay, I would gladly pay to see Jacob's Ladder in a the theater. I would gladly do that. Just do that. But nope. Can't do it. I don't give a fuck about Avengers Endgame. I don't give a fuck about... <clears throat> Aladdin. Frozen 2. Didn't see the first Frozen, so I don't give a shit. Ryan Johnson developing his Star Wars trilogy. Why? Steve Gutenberg making a time travel indie comedy. Something I'm actually curious about. Invisible Man reboot is low budget. Whatever. I'll just watch Hollow Man. What's this about Steve Gutenberg? <clears throat> the film is called Stuck with an exclamation point. Steve Gutenberg and Leslie Easterbrook, who were both in Police Academy. Group of scientists who, in a bid to discover time travel serum, learned that. Never mind, I'm reading the plot. When the gluten has been preventing human beings from visiting the past and future, the film takes place over the course of one day when one of the scientists realizes that her gluten free diet allows her to time travel. Of course, this is often the case where time travel causes more problems than it fixes. As from Hungarian filmmakers, shot in nine days, and they say it's more clerks than Back to the Future. Yeah, I, never mind. I any amount of excitement has just been flushed down the toilet. Oh yeah, that that one talk about Batman and Ninja Turtles meet in a crossover anime movie. And yeah, it's not that bad of a fucking picture. I guess I'll end it there because it's like half an hour, give or take, like 40 minutes, Jesus. So I guess I'll end it there. But yeah. Uh, not a whole lot to look forward to, not a whole lot good to say. That's why it's hard to be a fucking, I mean, it's easy to be a movie fan if you just look at the old, but if you look at the new, it's, it's very hard to be a movie fan really hard. James Cameron doesn't think he could have directed Aquaman. Whatever, you being a fucking pussy now. You're saying that shit because no one wants to rough anyone's fucking feathers nowadays. Because everyone's kind to each other. Everyone's nice to each other. Everyone that No, you're all full of shit and you would fucking talk shit behind people's backs. But not to their fucking faces, because everyone's a PC fucking pussy. Because everyone's part time jobs is to be offended. I'm offended! Like, that's the truth. It's like everyone's part time fucking job. By the way, thanks for watching. Take care. See you guys later. Bye bye.